Hey everybody, I wanted to get on here and tell you about a dream I had. I had this dream several years ago, like six years ago, but because it's landing on Passover time this year, I suddenly felt prompted to share the dream with you because I am getting a lot of interesting confirmations <clears throat> pointing to the time of Passover, which is different in Israel and the Torah calendar, and I'll show you that after this, but I'm also hearing the word sandy all the time. I'm seeing sand, I'm looking at sand, I'm in the sand, <clears throat> I keep thinking about sand, and, and, and then it was like, wait a minute, the Red Sea, it's the Red Sea. So that's just a whole nother confirmation. But so, I was at a birthday party, and <clears throat> for someone named Eileen, someone I know, but she, she's actually just died, she was in her 90s, and she, I was at her birthday party. Now the name Eileen means shining light. And it, the date of the birthday was April 7th, but that was not her real birthday. Her birthday wasn't even in April. Now I always thought, you know, I never thought, oh, this is the rapture dream, but now that it's landing when it's landing, I'm thinking about it more. And I also believe that we're literally, as I've told you in the last possible time for the seven year tribulation to start, Jacob's trouble and all that, but I'm not going to go into the calendar stuff with that, but so let me show you a couple things here. So I'm looking here at the Torah calendar. This is the month of Nisan, which is the month that Israel's on, so God could um, rapture us on Passover the time that Israel understands Passover is, even if, even if this isn't the correct month, he could still do it according to that so that Israel would see that something happened on Passover that would draw them to really think about things. So basically I wanted to show you that April 7th right here, the day in my dream, lands on Nissan 17. Passover starts here on the 14th. So the 17th is the day Christ rose from the dead. And that really got me thinking like, why did I have that dream about April 7th and it was a birthday? I'm not saying I know what's going to happen. I don't. But here we are again with something. How can I ignore it? You know, it's like maybe nothing will happen. I don't know, but maybe something will happen. And uh, if he comes on that day, it matches the resurrection <laughs> on the Torah calendar. So anyway, I wanted to give you that. I, I said a lot more in the video that wouldn't, for some reason it, it wouldn't edit. So I had to redo this and to make it short, I'm really sorry that I can't add anything. I gotta make sure this actually loads. So um, anyway, just wanted to give you that. Um, today felt really strange, I have to admit. It, it felt like a ghost town everywhere I went. I just feel like something huge is brewing right now. It, it felt remarkably strange and I've been observing everything for quite a while. You know, things were very, very ghost-like. And I just think everything's about to go down. I really do. Um, and we know the economy is collapsing. Many countries are rejecting our dollar now. Um, and it, as well as everything else going on all around us. But anyway, so keeping this short, love you guys. Uh, keep looking up. Keep looking at Jesus. Don't let the world scare you. God knows everything that's going on. He's in control of everything. 
he created everything and he's doing everything for a reason because he's going to start over and he's going to get rid of the sin and evil in this world and start a better place called the kingdom of God, eternal life with Christ. If you've believed in the name of Jesus Christ and believe that he's the son of God that died on the cross for your sins, shed his blood, made atonement for your sins for all time, was buried and rose on the third day. And that would be on the 17th of Nisan. Praise God. So, uh, love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Hopefully see you first in the air.